Okay, so I'm going to tag the word monosyllables, and what I do is I chop out each letter. So I work out that the O starts there and the M ends there, and then I type M on the keyboard to indicate that this is an M. And I chop out the, uh, the O and type O to indicate it's an O. And it's essentially about going through and cutting out each letter one after the other, so the N, O, and this is actually an S. I know it doesn't look much like an S, but it is. And so you're cutting out, and it works out which ones the, the ligatures attaching the letters simply by virtue of them being the ones you don't tag that have been connect letters. And sometimes, oh, that's an A. You have to zoom out to figure out what's going on. Probably the easiest is if there's any kind of spelling mistake. So our system doesn't do spelling mistakes unless you type a spelling mistake into the system. You also find that particularly messy handwriting can throw the system a bit um, in that it actually makes the, the messy handwriting neater relative to the real, real thing. It's a, it's a weird one. Um, you also get some texturing distortions sometimes where it has to stretch something slightly. And so if you look really closely at the edge, you'll see a sort of smearing. Um, and the best indicator is that because it's not actually written with a pen, it's printed out. If you get out a magnifying glass, the fake stuff, you can see the printed dot pattern. If you could write, pack my red box, with five quality jugs, full stop. Now next, comma, and open square brace, free merry men be we. Here, Prince Hippolyte. Paused. You might get away with it if it's like one document among hundreds and you know people aren't examining every document closely. Um, you might get it if people just don't have any cause to examine the document. Um, if someone, you know, if you were to print out someone's will using this, um, you know, you would, and nobody has any cause to think it's fake, nobody looks at it closely, you might get away with it. just want to communicate, then yeah, you're going to use a normal computer, you're going to use normal text. But there's something personal about handwriting, something that says, you know, this is my handwriting, I'm putting the effort to write this message. So when, when, when there is that extra emotional context, handwriting is still very, very important and a lot of people do still care to send letters. So I've loaded up the Synthesis graphical user interface and I can now type anything in. I'm going to type in my dear William Shakespeare and I can now click generate 